smash that like button and subscribe or I'm gonna end up homeless. All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that has been requested of me a lot in the comments because people see me AFK farming. So they always ask me, hey Jelly, can you teach me how to AFK farm? So for today's video, I'm just going to simply teach you guys how to AFK farm yourself. And you may be wondering why would I want AFK farm? And that's solely for battle pass XP. When you're AFK, you're still gonna get XP whether you win or lose the match. Uh, so, and so it's really good for getting to like level 50 real quick if you don't wanna buy any levels or whatever your desired goal is. If maybe you're a free to play baby or just trying to get 45, I don't know. Either way, AFK farm is gonna help you get a lot of XP really easy when you're sleeping, when you're at school, whatever you're doing. Uh, you could just be doing whatever you need to be doing and and it, while you're gone or you're sleeping, your computer's gonna be at home farming you Bed Wars XP. So the first thing to do this is you're going to need an auto clicker. I'm gonna provide you guys with a link with an auto clicker that will work uh, in the description and in the comment section. You can look in either one, find that link, and then go there and follow the steps as so. So let's head on over to that auto clicker. Uh, so we'll go here. Uh, wait. <laughs> It should take you to this page. This is the first page. The one that I'm leaving you a link to will take you here. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to look for, if you want to automate group mouse things, click this SourceForge link. You're gonna go ahead and click that SourceForge link and then it should start your download in five seconds. So once you get to this page, just go ahead and wait for like five seconds. Once you get that, you could just put this on your desktop or you can put it in your downloads folder. I'm just gonna leave mine in my downloads folder. That works fine for me. We're gonna go ahead and save that. You'll see it downloads. We'll go ahead and just open that now. Uh, we no longer need this, so we can close this. We'll go back into Bed Wars, and as you can see, this will kind of just stay on your screen here. Once you got this, you need to go get yourself into a game. So, let me get my partner here because I don't want to troll anybody's games. We're just going to do doubles in Sky Wars for a quick example, but you could AFK theoretically any of these modes. I know the most popular one a lot of people AFK in is 30v30 because it can give you some free wins while doing it. But we're just gonna hop into Sky Wars and uh, we'll show you kind of how this works. All right, we're gonna in a game of Sky Wars. Now, a few things you wanna set up on your auto clicker is this number of repeats. This is how many times it's going to click the screen. And uh, we may be gone for eight, 10 hours, maybe 12. I don't know how long you wanna be AFK, maybe days. Uh, so if you just set this to like some humongous number, like, I don't even know what that is, probably like 9 billion or 999 million, something like that. Something that's going to click for a very long time. So we'll just put that on there for like tons of repeating clicks. Now we simply just need to die, to be honest. Well, actually, you could put this time to sleep milliseconds. Uh, this is uh, the delay between how fast your auto clicker should click. These guys are trying to murder me, which is actually what we want because we're we're pretending we're AFK. So we'll just wait for these guys to kill us. All right, cool. Come on. Now you could do better than that. Get over here. Kill me. Yeah, get it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. All right. Now. You see this play again button. We don't want to put it here because another button will show up here and that could cause some problems and break the loop. So where you actually want to put this and you're going to hit this pick button right here where it says X, Y, X and Y coordinates and going to pick this and you want to put it right above this four spot where these buttons are. You'll put it right here and then we'll hit add position. So you'll see this shows up here. We'll put it on the X and Y and it's going to click every one second, a, a thousand milliseconds, which is a second. So once we do that, we can uh, go ahead and start this. And the start clicking thing is going to be F4, so we'll just hit F4 on our keyboard, and this will start clicking here. Now, unfortunately, with this method, uh, it's not the best method, but it works. Uh, you're gonna have to wait till everybody dies in the game, uh, whether it be 30v30 or duels. Uh, you do have to wait for everybody to die, sadly, because it does have spectating. Any game mode where you're gonna start spectating enemies, which is every game mode, I think, until the last team is there, uh, you're gonna have to wait, so. We'll just wait till everybody dies off in this game. Thank you forever. All right, see the play again button moved. It hit play again. And now we're on our way into another game. And this will just loop forever at all night. So just make sure your millisecond time is decently long. Because if you set it to like one millisecond, it's clicking uber fast. It might actually burn through all those clicks. But like once every two seconds, once every second should last you all night while you're sleeping or maybe even an entire day. I don't know. It should last for a long time. I've never had any problems. On that note, Thank you all for watching. The only thing left to do is to thank those YouTube members. So, thank you, Mama Peas, Redwood Deadwood, Axo, Finally Cringe, Wolfite, Giftogen, JD, Neff, Waffly, and Frozen Haze. Thank you all so much for being members of the channel. And on that note, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.